Welcome. Thank you. Welcome um, um, uh, to Athens, Mr. President. Uh, uh, we have the pleasure of welcoming a Jew, uh, friend of Greece. Uh, it's an honor uh, and a privilege to have you uh, in our country. You know, unfortunately, uh, your visit uh, is uh, coinciding with uh, an unprecedented attack by Russia, which is violating uh, Ukraine's sovereignty, which we condemn uh, in the strongest possible um, uh, words. Uh, what needs to happen now is for the war to stop immediately, for Russian troops uh, to um, stay away from um, um, Ukrainian uh, territory and uh, for Ukraine's sovereignty to be uh, fully uh, respected. And this is a gross uh, and unprovoked violation uh, of uh, international law, which we as Greece, but also the entire European family, condemns in the strongest possible words. And as you know, we will have an extraordinary council meeting today where we expect uh, uh, to approve a very tough measure uh, of uh, sanctions. But again, this is um, not about Ukraine. This is about destabilizing uh, the whole European geopolitical uh, order. It's about, at the end of the day, it's about protecting um, uh, freedom, uh, and we will be, we will stand uh, uh, united in defending our values, and I'm sure that uh, also our allies from all over the world, not just member states of the European Union or of, of NATO, will send a very clear and unequivocal message. Uh, so uh, it's, uh, it's a pity that you come in, in these circumstances, but let me just say, as far as our bilateral relations are concerned, that they are going from strength to strength. This is something we have uh, uh, discussed uh, uh, many, many times. times. It is a relationship I place uh, personally particular um, uh, value on. And of course, uh, I, uh, we should may probably make a, uh, a reference to the fact uh, that we both come from, from political families, that it was my, my late father uh, who, uh, uh, in April of 1990, as his first foreign policy decision, um, uh, formally recognize the state of Israel, thus rectifying a historical injustice on behalf of Greece. So again, welcome. So first of all, Mr. Prime Minister, I know your, your challenges and your schedule is, is really um, overloaded with a huge world challenge. I, like you, I'm, I'm very disturbed and very worried about the humanitarian crisis and the tragedy that will loom over so many innocent civilians and human beings. And like you, I pray and call upon uh, all parties concerned to sit down and move towards negotiations. Uh, we, the government of Israel, fully supports the territorial integrity of the Ukraine. And we are uh, also worried about the Jewish community of the Ukraine and Israelis who are in the Ukraine. And um, I hope your deliberations will be successful. You're a personal friend of mine for many years. And I was really moved when we met and we exchanged pictures of our fathers meeting following the historic resolution of your father to uh, recognize the state of Israel, which was long then overdue. Since then, our relations have gone on track beautifully, and today we are truly partners and strategic allies, and the relationship between Israel and Greece is going from strength to strength in so many fields. I can tell you that the plane I came in with was full to the top, both with business people and with Israeli tourists who just want to come and visit your wonderful country. And I. I'm following closely your great success also on the economic front and so many other fronts. We can share together our know-how and experience in tackling the issues of climate change, regional security, and so many other things. And my message to the entire region, especially this region, that all nations and that all religions, Christians, Jews, and of course Muslims can dwell together in peace and prosperity. And clearly the day, today's crisis only shows that we all need to be together and work together uh, in conjunction uh, with the goals of um, in, you know, bettering and improving humanity and circumstances of life for all, especially for our nations. So I'm here to express my utmost friendship and respect to uh, Greece and to your leadership, and I hope that together 
this message will resonate also in the great connections between our peoples. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. President.